Starting with the case, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and set it on the side. Uh, they will be two thumb screws on each end uh, of the side panel. Went ahead and taken those off. And you want to just simply slide the panel uh, to the back of the system. And then you'll want to lift it up slightly and pull it away, which is pretty hard to do with one hand, I will say. Okay, like I was saying, just slide the case to the back, and then you lift it away, and then off the system. Now, what I want to note about this system here <clears throat> is that everything is full aluminum. Um, the case, uh, the tray, every single part of this, uh, the metal is aluminum, which means it's a soft metal. Um, so you want to take extra care not to over tighten any screws, any standoffs, anything of that sort when you're assembling your system. Uh, especially like the back case screws, um, I've seen people strip those out completely. Um, power supply screws, hard drive mountings aren't too bad considering you're going right into the hard drive. But usually those casings are um, aluminum as well. Um, the putting in the fans, they already got two fans in for you already. If you want to add a third one in, you can add one into the top of the system. You got the screw holes already in here for it. Um, they have your main hard drive cage here. Turn it to the side here for you. Uh, and as you can see here, conveniently stored within this drive cage is all of our screws which I'm going to get this tape off here and show you what all is inside. box of parts, uh, there's basically four bags, uh, each containing some different sets of screws. Uh, you have, uh, in one bag, standoffs. It's these things. They're the uh, hexagon-shaped uh, bits. And these screw into your motherboard, or I should say, they hold your motherboard to your case, uh, but what you do is you put the screw itself, uh, the standoff, in the uh, holes, depending on your motherboard. And you see there's a hole in the middle there for uh, these here, which was in another bag, the standoff screws to go into. Um, they're pretty close in look uh, to some of the hardware screws. Uh, the hardware screws are just a little bit bigger. They're more for putting things like your uh, hard drives in, things like that. So what you want to do is actually, to make sure you're using the right screw, take your standoffs and uh, take uh, one of the screws and try and screw it into the standoff. If it goes in nice and easy, you got the right screw. If you have trouble and it wants to bind or it doesn't want to go anywhere, you've got the wrong screws. Uh, so you want to use the other set and try it. You know those as well, just to make sure that that's fitting correctly. Uh, then you have uh, in the last bag, it's a little Ziploc bag, which I use at the end of the build to put all the screws into, so I don't lose them. So if I want to put something in in the future, or I have the screws that match everything else up. Uh, a little cable clamp. Uh, usually this is used for like the power supply. Uh, you'd want to put that probably up in the upper part of the system somewhere here once you put your power supply in, you'll get a good idea of where that'll have to go. Uh, these here are used for uh, fans in your system. If you want to go ahead and put another fan up in the top there like I was saying and it doesn't come with screws, that's what you'd use those for, but chances are your fan will come with screws. Uh, Ziploc ties, and this is actually a little tool. Uh, kind of cool that they give it to you. Uh, if I can get it to kind of go around it to show you uh, probably not going to be able to but uh, it's actually used for the trying to get on here for you there. you're not going to be able to see it too well as you can see there, it kind of goes in, I'm holding the screw, <laughs> the standoff on the tool itself, but it's used to help you tighten them down. Uh, if you actually um, have some of the older Leon Lee cases, 
they come with a actual driver and I have a whole bunch of these no I am not giving them away because they're very useful uh, you never know if you're going to lose one or whatever but once you put these in get them in place you tighten them down and I want to show you in the motherboard video how to actually place that in but this is all preparing your case uh, motherboard video will be an attachment to this one or response I should say uh, cables inside you got your USB cable Trying to get that to uh, do its autofocus thing. Uh, you get the idea. It says USB. I could read on the damn screen. <laughs> uh, and then we got here uh, 1394. For those of you who don't know, that's Firewire. And then we have HD audio. And on the same set is an AC97. See how it's kind of just spliced right into there like that and it goes into the case up front to the front panel um, it's really just kind of a preference thing for you um, how I'm going to set up is it's going to be with the HD audio I don't even bother with the AC97 uh, um, the real reason you want to use that is if your board doesn't support uh, the HD audio and then here and we're getting to the point where the lighting isn't going to be good uh, you have your various um, switches and lights at the front, the leads form. Power switch, uh, reset switch, speaker, uh, sorry, power lead. Uh, usually these have, yeah, there it is, speaker. And right beside it is the hard drive light. And you can see here, another four pin connector for the big um, 120 millimeter fan. And then we have the front panel, which you're not going to see too well of because everything is black. And I don't have good lighting, so it just shows up as black, so I'm going to pretty much avoid that. Another four-pin connector. I got this on super macro mode at the moment, so you will get nice out-of-focus effects. And you'll see also attached on here is um, basically the four-pin goes up into this little guy here. Uh, and then you see this has got this little kind of... Dis color duration there because it's a separate part. You can actually slide that four pin connector off and connect this directly to your motherboard which I recommend. Uh, here's the um, shields and of course we got a uh, bracket on the back of this guy for the power supply. Unscrewing that, we'll let this whole bracket come off and you can actually attach uh, that directly to the power supply to slide it back in and thumb screw it back down which we'll cover in the installation video for that your front panel on this guy turning its... don't want to turn it sideways, that'll be disorienting uh, we have the microphone, headphone, USB, firewire it's all standard and just so you know, on these Leon Lees, the front cover here does have a little piece of plastic um, covering it. One of those little protective, shiny plastic things. Um, you'll want to take that off because I've seen sometimes stuff sticks to those or under them in some odd cases. So, and you probably can't see it there too much, but there's a little corner of it I've managed to peel up with these uh, Leon Lee cases as well the whole front panel just pops right off which we're going to go ahead and do now because we'll need to get these drive panels out one of them for the CD drive anyway so I'm just going to go ahead and take that out and there's the whole front panel some of these will have a dust filter in them this model does not unfortunately um, but those are going to be the more expensive case models. The three and a half uh, floppy drive bay holder, you got screws to hold that in. Once you take those out, the whole thing can come out. And that's pretty much rundown of the entire case itself. Uh, what we're going to do next is install the motherboard. You'll see that as a response to this video. And if you're viewing on the website, it's going to be on the next section.